Hello friends, you are welcome again. So we are continuing our series on electrical drawing. In this episode, we are going to look at block diagrams, single line diagrams, and schematic diagrams. So an electrical drawing is specifically made for the user to understand how electrical circuits or how the electrical system is wired. Okay, so quickly, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to give a scenario and then we are going to produce the various drawings from that scenario. Okay, so let's look at a simple lighting circuit that comprises of two lamps controlled together from two different switching points. So the lamps are controlled together from two different switching points and the supply is taken from a two-way consumer unit. All right, so before you start drawing, um, you must understand what you are representing. The drawing is a representation of something that you want to do. And so the first thing here is to properly understand what you are representing or what you are using the diagram to represent. In our case, we are creating a block diagram that will represent a lighting circuit that comprises of two lamps controlled together from two different switching points. And the supply to this lighting circuit is taken from a two-way consumer unit. So first, we understand that there are two lamps in the circuit. There are two switching points. And then there is a two-way consumer unit. Good. In drawing a block diagram, we use simple blocks to represent the components and accessories of the wiring system. And then we use single lines to represent the wires. All right, so here we need five blocks. So we have block one. This block will represent our consumer unit. This one will represent one of the switches. This one, another switch. This one, one lamp, and this one is the other lamp. Okay, so in doing a block diagram, these blocks will represent the accessories in the wiring, and then we use single line to connect them. Okay, so let me pick the wire from here. All right, so here, per the scenario given, we have five blocks to represent the components that we are using in the wiring. So the next thing we do now is that we have to label these blocks to represent a particular item in the wiring. So the first block is our consumer unit. Then the second block, the second block is uh, one of the two switches. So we can call this switch one. And then this will be the second switch, which we can name switch two. And then this will be one of the lamps. And so we call it lamp one. Then the last block will also represent the second lamp. And so that will be our lamp two. All right, so this is a block diagram. And so we only use blocks to represent the various items or components or accessories in the wiring. So we have a consumer unit with switch one, another switch, lamp one, lamp two. All right, so you see that this type of diagram is very simple and uh, it doesn't give much explanation or it doesn't give much detail of the drawing. So looking at this drawing, the information here is very limited. A beginner electrician can actually not use this diagram to do anything meaningful. The only thing you can do from here is that you know there is a wiring that comprises of a consumer unit two switches, and then two lamps. 
The next drawing we'll be looking at from the same scenario is a single line diagram. All right. So the only difference is that in the single line diagram, we are going to use symbols in place of these blocks and then a single line for this same scenario. All right. So this is a single line diagram. In most cases, single line diagrams are used to show the power flow in power distribution systems and uh, they are also used to simplify complex systems such as um, electrical panels and then uh, power plants okay but i'm trying to make things very simple and so i'm trying to use very simple analogies to explain this thing all right so here is a single line diagram for the scenario given and you can realize that again you can see that this gives you an idea of certain components that are part of this circuit but it, it is not giving us the actual layout of how we want these components to be positioned and how they are connected okay and so we will move ahead to look at what a schematic diagram looks like Again, I'm using this very simple scenario to explain all the different types of drawings. All right, so next we have a look at what a schematic diagram will look like. So here, there is a definition here for schematic circuit diagrams. And it says that a schematic diagram of an electrical circuit shows the complete electrical connections between components using their symbols and lines. Unlike wiring diagram, it does not specify the real location of the components. And the line between the components does not represent real distance between them. Schematic diagrams focus on the functionality of the circuit rather than the physical layout of the circuit. All right. So from this definition, per the given scenario, we can represent our schematic diagram in this way. All right, so per the information on schematic diagram, the schematic diagram seeks to show how the components are interconnected in the wiring, but it doesn't show the details of the specific routes that the wires take and then it doesn't also show where exactly the components are positioned. So the schematic diagram is only concerned with how the system is interconnected, how the components are interconnected. All right, so this drawing can represent the schematic diagram for the scenario given. In the next video, I'll be showing how to draw a complete wiring diagram from the same scenario. And in that video, we'll look at a layout diagram, and then we are going to draw the wiring diagram according to the given plan. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please, if you have not yet subscribed, I will urge you to do that and stay connected. See you in the next video.